Okay. I'm back here. Um, this is going to have to be, um, this is a ploy to get subscribers to my channel. Um, yeah, I feel like I have to do a, uh, some sort of contest. Um, you know, there's been so many contests, and I guess I'm just not imaginative enough to come up with anything new. So, all I decided to do was I just picked out five records that I've got over the last year that mean something to me. Um, I mean, either they're just really good, or they served a certain purpose in my collection or whatever. I'll explain as I go along. I'm going to try to do this as quick as possible. Uh, yeah, I didn't mean to go on as long last time. So, um, and what we're listening to is number one on my list, which is Motorhead on Parole. Anybody that knows anything about me knows that Motorhead is one of my favorite bands. And I decided to include this one simply because I just got it uh, a few weeks ago. And it pretty much wraps up my whole uh, Motorhead collection. I will definitely have to show uh, one of these days all of my, my Motorhead records. I'll probably do that before too long. Um, you know, I don't have a whole lot of foreign presses or anything, but uh, I do have multiple presses of, uh, you know, multiple U.S. pressings, and I do have a few other uh, some German and uh, Japanese and uh, and yeah, and this is a really cool double uh, double LP. Yeah, Back on Black does it. It's that sort of transparent vinyl, but it sounds really, really, really good. Um, and of course, uh, you know, basically it's the first the first stuff that uh, Motorhead ever put down. Uh, you know, Motorhead on Parole, Vibrator, Iron Horse, Born to Lose, City Kids, The Watcher, Leaving Here, Lost, Johnny and Fools, and then Side D just has alternate takes of On Parole, City Kids, Motorhead, and Leaving Here. So, uh, yeah. Number one on my sort of special uh, vinyls <laughs> over the last year. <clears throat> this one is probably the least special out of the, out of the bunch. I just find it kind of cool because I haven't seen it anywhere else and uh, it just it's one of those that takes me back you know because it's it's Britney Fox but it's, it's very it's cool because it's a double it has uh, their first LP and then it also has uh, Boys in Heat um, yeah just got this one I don't know. Around the same time, I might have got the exact same time I got the Motorhead uh, record, and uh, believe I actually got both of them from. Uh, it's got the backs of the original in the gatefold, and the fronts. You know, that's the original front, and that's the original front. Um, and I don't know. This may be pretty common, but I mean, I didn't see any of. It. I didn't see anybody selling them on eBay or anything, so. And I think I paid like twelve dollars for it at uh, uh, EB Records, you know, Ernie Ernie B's Reggae <laughs> Reggae Records. I had a couple different uh, I had a couple different coupons for uh, for EB Records, and uh, so I cashed a couple of those in and, and ended up getting enough. I don't know, like four different records for 30 bucks or something. So, uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool, man. That, that's, that's, that's a good one. Takes me back. 
Britney Fox. This one uh, is special to me because it. Uh, this one tops off my Tom Waits collection. Um, it is one of the hardest to, uh, to get a hold of. I guess there was a lot less of these than anything else. I found it on eBay. It's still in the shrink. And uh, still got the original Rocky Mountain Records and Tapes. 688 price tag on it. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a big Tom Waits fan. I love the movie big time. Don't know why it has never been released on DVD or Blu-ray. Surely to God, one of these days it will be. Um, it's one of my favorite concert videos. You know, Tom Waits is definitely an acquired taste. People either love him or they hate him. You know, I've I've been listening to him since since I was in high school, and, and I, I love him. I love all the shit that he does. Um, not a huge, huge fan of his early crooner kind of shit, but uh, at any rate, I, I still like everything, and then I have everything that he ever put out. I'll have to show those one day, too. Okay, my fourth one I'm going to show is this and once again this one didn't necessarily top off my my Judas Priest collection but uh, uh, I, it just it's just a extremely good uh, sounding pressing of one of my favorite heavy metal records of all time uh, arguably the best metal record of 1982 um, yeah, so, uh, and this is obviously the, the MoFi, uh, limited edition, number 1907 out of I don't know how many, but, uh, sounds, sounds spectacular, um, yeah, I, I can't, don't have to say much about this record, but it's just, just great, I love it, <clears throat> and last but not least is... Excuse me, sorry. In on the Kill Taker, Fugazi. I just got this one again. And the reason that this one is special to me is because this was actually the first record that I bought um, when I was in high school. When I realized that bands were, were still making new records. Um, you know, I was into the whole, you know, Fugazi, Sebado, Jesus Lizard, Big Black kind of alternative music scene at the time. So, uh, this had just come out. So it was 93. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, uh, you know, it kind of just has uh, a special place in my collection for that reason. So anyway, um, yeah, so at the moment I have two subscribers. So, um, Scott Waters, this is no pressure, but um, <laughs> an employee, like I said, an employee to uh, to get some 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 more uh, subscribers to my to my channel. Hopefully, maybe I can get a response from this. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> hopefully you can you can think of five records that. Uh, um, that means something to you that you've got over the last say year or so um anyway i would i would say something to the other subscriber but uh that other subscriber is actually me from my other channel the void so uh you know i've got a couple thousand subscribers on that channel but i, I really didn't want to start like throwing you know it, it's it's a video channel i've got music on that channel and, and i really didn't want to start throwing my ugly mug up there, you know, talking about records all of a sudden. I'll probably lose more subscribers than I would gain that way. So, I figured it was better just to start a new channel. So, the Vinyl Circus was born, and uh, I don't know, hopefully somebody enjoys watching me yammer on about stuff that I enjoy. I know I enjoy hearing people yammer about their shit, so, yeah. Thanks a lot. Hope you watch, hope you enjoy, hope you sub, and uh, take it easy. See you later.